make sure it's, is it recording? So I already see the button. Okay. All right, here we go. I feel like I'm uh, Grandpa Jay last Christmas doing the Jay. Uh, I feel like doing when I interviewed you last time for the uh, Christmas present that we gave Dave and John. Uh, I'll just tell you what we're doing here and try to catch you. Uh, it's uh, December 8th. It's about 5.30. We've uh, just, the uh, kind of Sundays are always kind of hectic. We get up early in the morning and uh, get ready for church and prepare my weekend's form lesson, then come back at noon, eat lunch till 1, take naps. We just barely got up, so we're, we're kind of getting started with the day now. Anyway, uh, we're uh, having fun getting ready to send you out this package. I think we're going to make a bunch of truffles tonight and send you off some. I don't think that they have access to truffles in Lithuania, so hopefully you'll be able to get some of those from us tonight. Um, so we just wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, and uh, we figured that we could send you something that would be kind of fun that you couldn't have, and pictures of us would be fun. We borrowed the video camera from from uh, my department this morning, and so we're taping this stuff and getting ready to send it off to you in the morning. They said they guaranteed the post office that by, uh, if we send it by tomorrow, that you'd have it by Christmas, so uh, hopefully that will happen. Um, let's see, what can I tell you? We're gonna, we decided to start today up at the university, but we decided to go Sunday instead. Um, we're looking forward to having Donna and Margaret come over for Christmas. Donna just talked to him on the phone, and, uh, she said that they uh, were getting ready to come out. I think they're coming out on the 22nd, and then I think right before the New Year's or at New Year's, Donna's going to fly out just by herself for a few days for the big last sister um, fling before the yeah. school year starts again. Anyway, so things are going well with the baby inside Donna's tummy. I guess she has an appointment next week. We'll see how that goes. And we're deciding whether uh, what to do about the delivery. The doctor said it's probably pretty certain that based on our last kids that we'll have either uh, have to induce her early because the kid so the kid doesn't get too big or to have a C-section. And I don't know, kind of leaning towards C-section because it's just a lot safer, I think, in terms for everyone rather than having to risk some high risk of delivery like we've had to do with our last three kids. So, so that's an exciting thing coming up in probably at the end of February. We're going to have another little baby around here. So in terms of uh, Donna's feeling great and she's a real trooper in terms of her health and everything. And we're just always kind of looking forward to the delivery date and hope that everything goes well during that time too. So we're excited to have another little boy or little girl in our family. The kids are getting excited. I think even Reed has kind of started getting excited a little bit about having a, a little girl or a little boy in her family. She kind of a little bit understands what's going on and she's a little bit over two. Uh, what else can I talk to you about? Um, what we're going to do when the little baby comes is we're going to put the baby in uh, where Reed is now. Reed's crib will go downstairs. We'll put the little crib in for the new baby. Reed's crib will go downstairs and she'll split and brew that bedroom that Sam and Drew were in before and Sam has the new bedroom. So, uh, and Don and I, I guess, will continue to share the same room for the time being, at least. Anyway, and then uh, uh, we're uh, trying to get everything done before Don and Margaret comes. I'll take you on a tour of our new addition in a second here, and we will do some other things on the videotape to, for your entertainment pleasure. <laughs> you can get my and watch it this we're trying to fill up the whole tape by the end of the by the end of the evening. Um, we're going to uh, uh, the last thing we have to do to get the house finished for Don Murder is in two days the plumber's coming. He's going to install the faucets on the in the sink and uh, also on the shower. The marble came in last week. So we're excited to get that in. And uh, all finished. The you know the carpet came last uh, Thursday, I guess, and I'll show you around the carpet. 
So that was really exciting. Kind of makes the house complete when the downstairs is done with the carpet. And we can actually use that bathtub. I think it'll be really exciting to wash our hands down there in the sink and everything. So we're excited about getting that all finished up for the, for the holidays. And it'll be a big uh, relief to have all that finished. We worked hard and doing all the stuff. Last night I spent uh, the evening making a set of big shelves in the laundry room which will be, I think, helpful to s store stuff away. So we're trying to make this house as user-friendly as we can at the lowest possible price we can. Um, let's see, what else is going on here? Sam and Drew are doing great in school, and Sam is reading up a storm, and Drew's reading really well, too. He's getting books from, from, first from the kindergarten teacher so that he can read the same books that Sam read last year. He's doing really well. We'll have him read some stories to you um, shortly. Um, let's see. And Reed is getting smart. She's a really pretty girl, and uh, she's doing great and doing all sorts of things. She's got a little sense of humor and a little bit of old neck to her, and kind of a tomboy. So, and but she loves to wear dresses and pull her hair back, and she's got a feminine side to her too, which is which is good. So. That's kind of fun. Uh, what else is going on? I don't know. We're deep in Christmas shopping and uh, doing stuff. Don and I share lists with each other about what we want to get ourselves and pass it on to the other person so that we can order that. So we've been ordering stuff for each other lately. And that's kind of fun. We're going to, I think, either probably tomorrow night we're going to go get a Christmas tree. So that'll be fun to have the kids help decorate that and get the house already. I think we're going to put the Christmas tree downstairs in the new, the new addition, so so we can kind of close it off so we did not yank on it like Alice and hold the, the little ornaments off our tree and pull it right at that time. We don't want that to happen again. Let's see, what else can we say? Maybe I better uh, pull it off here and let you look at some other faces a little bit better than mine. Maybe I'll talk to you a little bit later on in the evening when the kids are in bed. Anyway, all right. Thank you. Have a happy Christmas. We miss you. We're excited to have you home. Oh, incidentally, I just talked to uh, that nutrition food science guy or whatever down in uh, the two doors down, Hanson, I think, in the store the other day. He said your mailbox has, in fact, been moved um, up to your house and uh, so uh, I'll try to work on it so that we'll get the mail delivered here or there or something so that you won't have to worry about that. I'm pretty sure that I talked to them and, uh, um, earlier and they said that I could continue to get it forwarded if I talked to them when your other one was close to their expiration. So I'll call them this week and figure that out. Uh, let's see. What else should I talk about, Donna? Uh... Show them how you can read. Can I make funny faces? No, I think it's time to turn it off. Okay, we'll turn it off for a second and uh, get set up here and read. Here's Sam, and he wants to read for you. And he's first of all going to read some poems that he memorizes in his class. How many? Do you memorize poems a lot, Sam? Yeah. How do you do them? Do you practice them a lot? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, what, how many poems do you think you've done? Do you do about once a week? One a week? Yeah. Do you like to do them? Yeah. All right. Do you want to read the first poem for us? Yeah. What do you got in your teeth? Um, I'm not telling you. Okay. You ready? Tell us what the poem's called. Flower. Okay. You're going to read it to Read it to us kind of slow so that so that we can understand what you're saying. You ready? Okay. Go ahead. I had a little brother. I brought him to my mother and I said I want another little brother for a change but she said don't be a bother so I took him to my father and I said this little brother of a brother is very strange but he said one little brother is exactly like another and every little every little brother misbehaves a bit he said so I took the little brother from my mother to my and my father and put the little brother Yay, Sam! Go blow your nose. Oh. And then we'll uh, we'll show uh, Grandma Jan our new poster. Look at that! It's our vegetable alphabet poster. We're trying to once we get the sheetrock all out, we're trying to ornamentalize our house a little bit. 
So that's our new poster. We got two new end tables there and there. So, and that's very exciting. Okay, Sam's going to do another poem for you. What's it called, Sam? Bubblegum. Bubblegum. Go. Okay. I'm in trouble. They got bubble. Tear that off my nose. Fell a rock inside my sock. Got gum between my toes. Made another told my brother we could blow up hair. Give three cheers. Now our ears are sticking to our hair. Yay! <laughs> Sam's such a good reader. Now he wants to read you the Articles of Faith, or an article of faith. Okay, well, we'll do that in a second. Uh... Here is uh, Sam. Do you want to read a story to Jan and Jay? Um, yeah. Scrub and spray? No, the magic one first. first. I don't know. Why don't you read scrub and spray? Okay. Scrub. This is one of Sam. This is Sam's homework for tonight. So we can, we you will send the form and you can just sign it off tonight. Scrub and scrub, scrub. Mom scrubs Bob with soap. So. Mom sprays. Bay, the A, Bay, wheels with glee. Ooh, good reading, Sam. Mom scrubs in the in the street. Babe and tries to spray mom. Babe is sad. Oh, you missed a line. Babe can. The third line. Babe cannot spray. Mom takes Babe to class. <laughs> Mrs. Spring. 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 Spring sits ba Babe in the Babe screams, I can spray. Babe sprays the class. Ooh, good reading, Sam, man. Babe struts with pride. Babe sees snake in um, snake. Snake the snake. Sneak the snake. Babe That's right. Now is that a long sound or a small short sound? Er It's a long sound. Good. Strikes snake. Sneak. With sneak with spray. The wet snake squeals, I will tell. Uh-oh. Who says I will tell? Who says I'm going to tell on you? <laughs> um, that poem. That poem. The poem says that? Yeah. Okay, you read page five, big guy. That we're learning at school. Sam's a good reader, isn't he? A, B, spot. Laws to to a big tree. They scream. I can't spray spot. Spray spot. They strike spot with a big spread. Spot wheel. I will tell. All right. Good. Page. Page six. Zeke can hide in the green tree. Babe sees his big strikes. Babe strikes Zeke with a big spray. Zeke screams, I will tell. Page seven, good reading, big game. Miss Spring. 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 To Babe's mom. Babe cannot spray. Snake, sneak, sneak spot, spot, and sneak. Good. I will spot, stop, Babe, says Babe's mom. Babe will not spray. Sneak, spot, and sneak. Good. Last page. Mom has a plan. Mom will get Babe a drug. Babe sprays the van. Sneak spot and sneak smile. Yay, Sam. Can you believe what a good reader this kid is? 
He is such a good reader. Let's, uh, let's go find the uh, Articles of Faith. Oh, you read those last year. Drew will read those for us. Okay. Where's Reed? Oh, he has chocolate milk. These guys hate chocolate milk. Okay. Go find your scriptures and we'll... Uh, I don't know where they are. I'll go look for them. You ready? Okay. Um, cut your... Hey, show us your loose tooth one more time, Sam. Cool. That's going to be Sam's top tooth. It's coming out soon. What's that? It's a pen punch. It says Santa and Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's all made with hole punches. You can't see it very well, but it's got a hole punches and thousands of hole punches. Oh, that's a lot better. Good job. Okay, let's go get the script. I'll tell you what he's going to do. What are you going to do, Sam? Um, read the article to me. Which one? Um, uh, 11 and 12. Okay, go ahead. D tell tell why you learned how to read the Articles of Faith. Because I said them in church. Yeah, number you. Eleven. You got to do number eleven in church for the for the talk. Yeah. And did no, you do for it for the Articles of Faith? Oh, for the Articles of Faith, did you do a pretty good job? Yeah. And how come you learned thirteen? Um, because uh, we passed them all the way up to the highest number. Yeah, because you're a good good reader too, aren't you? Yeah. Can you hear Reed and Drew bubbling in their chocolate milk? Hey Drew, show Jay your chocolate milk. No. Oh, come on, he wants to see it. They don't have chocolate milk in Lithuania. Cool. Reed, Reed, show Grandpa Jay your chocolate milk. All right, a hot pot. Whoa, can you believe this? Our house is actually semi-clean, except for those dishes right there, which wouldn't be hidden in the dishwasher. And the kids who actually comb their hair, so it gives the appearance that we're semi-normal people. Okay, Sam's gonna read which article uh, of faith first. Tell tell Jan and Jay what articles of faith are. Um, because they're on a mission, they probably don't know about this kind of stuff. Okay, number twelve. We believe in being subject to kings, presidents, rulers, and magistrates, and sustaining and obeying, honoring, and and sustaining the law. Good. Good we work. believe in being honest, truth, chaste, beloved, virtuous, and doing good to all men. Indeed, we may say that we that we follow follow the admonition of Paul. We believe all things. We hope all things. We have endured many things, and hope to is be able to endure all things. If they is anything virtuous, lovely, or of good report, praiseworthy, we seek after these things. All right, Sam, man. Jeez, this guy is going to make a good missionary someday. How old are you, Sam? Uh, six. How old do you have to be to go on a mission? Um, sixteen. Sixteen? Yeah. How many more years? Um, you should um, ask teacher to send me another math problem. Oh, that's a good idea. Tell, tell uh, Jan and Jay about your math problems. What do you, what do, you get if you do the math problems? The cougar yeah. path. What's the cougar path? Uh, it's a little thing, if you, and if you have the most, you give Cougar Pound away on the Friday. They have a yeah. store, uh -huh. and then you buy Cougar Pound. Tell, tell them what you've got. And then you give them the Cougar Pound, what you want to get, and then you can have a certain amount, and then you get keep them. Tell, tell Jen and Jay what things you've gotten with Cougar Pay Off so far. Um, look, at, look at the camera, big gay. An army tent? Uh huh. Oh, I can remember. Oh, you got like a, one of those little clips. Oh. And did you get any stickers or pens or pencils or anything? Um, a dad got pencils. Yeah. And tell me, well, how many, what's the most Cougar Pay Offs you've ever had? Um, 11. Ooh, tell her, tell what you get cougar payoffs for doing. Tell us some things that you've done. Math problems and challenge words. And challenge words? What about for just being good and helping and stuff yeah. like that? Do you get and for work. And for work? Yeah. Oh, tell what happened this week because you checked your work. Cause I got a misreading. Tell how come. 
because I check my work. What What do you mean by What do you mean by checking your work? What does that mean? Um, by conducting my mistakes. So I So I didn't. So I got misreading. Oh, that's pretty fun. How many people got to miss reading that day? Six. Ooh, that's pretty good. If you get perfect, if you get a hundred percent on your work, you get to miss reading, don't you? Yep. And that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. What else were we going to um, talk about? Um, um, okay. We're going to try. Oh, what are you going to say, Sam? Um, and um, I got to miss reading three times. Oh, that's a good deal. Good job. Okay, we're going to go over here and see if we can sneak. Okay, I won't. I won't do it. Read. Daddy's not gonna do it. Can we wanna sing ABC first or Twinkle Twinkle? ABC. Oh, okay. ABC. <laughs> What's wrong? You want to sing? Why don't you get the boys out of here? I bet she'd do it. Okay, so could you What shall we sing? ABCs or Twinkle Twinkle? Play that. Twinkle here on my game. Play that. Okay, but you, can we sing a song first? Play that. Read it. I know, I know. Hello, hello. 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 Turn it on. Let me uh, set it up. Hello, hello, hello. Sure are, huh? Do you want to sing a song with Mama? Let's sing Twinkle Twinkle. You're wiping your own bummy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Reed. You. Those are your church shoes, huh? Yeah. Reed. You. Uh huh. Today. Yeah. You wore them today, didn't you? Did you go to church today? No. Yes, you did. What do you do? What do you like at church? Friends. Toys. Toys. What else? Crackers. Friends. Cookie. Cookies. That's yummy. And and crayons. And crayons. What else? Uh, music. And uh huh. And puzzles. <laughs> Is that your favorite? Puzzles. Yeah, we get. Did you sing Twinkle Twinkle at church today? No. Do you want to sing it with mommy? Yeah. Ready? No. You don't want to sing with mommy? No. Just sing all by yourself. Do you want to sing like a big girl? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Do you want to sing ABC with Daddy? A, B, C, D, 